One of the things that I've noticed about myself is that during this time I have had a really strong desire to return to old family traditions that bring me comfort. So today I'm going to share with you a long-standing favorite in my family, a breakfast dish called Eggs in the Nest. It's simple and it's yummy. Enjoy! Eggs in the Nest is something that my mom made for me and my siblings when we were younger and it's one of my favorite dishes. I don't know if it started before my grandma because I know my grandma is the one who taught my mom how to make it. But it is such a simple dish. It only has two ingredients, eggs and bread. And you start by uh, toasting the bread. So my mom used to just use uh, one egg per piece of toast. And I've discovered that the way I like my nests is to actually have the nest covered. And I'll show you the difference of what I meant, what I mean by that. The recipe I use is one and a half egg whites to every one yolk. So this is actually three egg whites and two yolks that I'll be working with. And you salt and pepper the egg whites. This is literally a cloud of meringue, unsweetened meringue with egg yolks. I use super fine black pepper and I always cook with Redmond salt, which I love. So I just sprinkle some salt and pepper in that and then I whip this egg whites until they're at stiff peaks. That took about 90 to 120 seconds to do. Now, you don't have to waste the third egg yolk. The only reason why the third egg yolk is not in here is because I broke it while I was separating the whites. And if you've never made meringue before or whipped egg whites, you cannot even have a fleck of yolk in the egg whites or they won't, won't whip up. So my egg yolk, sadly, the third one went down the drain. If you are successful in not cracking or breaking the egg yolk, you can actually put it in your nest and then one nest will have two egg yolks in it. So from there, uh, now that this is at stiff peaks, set this aside and get your toast. My toast is lightly toasted and lightly buttered. Make it as dark as you want with as gooey with butter as you want. And with a spoon, you're gonna spoon the egg whites onto the toast. After you've got your nest formed, being sure to leave some egg whites left over to create a top of your nest. Then you can drop one or two yolks into the nest. Oh no, I've never done that before. What? <laughs> great, that's great. <laughs> so I'll clean up that mess, get another egg yolk, and I'll be right back. wondering why I cleaned up the egg yolk. Had I left that raw egg and put it in a 400 degree oven, it would have burnt. And then your breakfast would taste like burnt eggs. Gross. So when I was little, this is how my mom prepared the eggs in the nest. Uh, she just left them open. But that. When you do it that way, the egg yolk cooks more so it's not runny. And I like my egg yolks to be hot and runny. So doing it this way leaves 
leaves the egg yolks a little bit protected but exposed to the heat so they cook solidly. What I do is I cap my nest and this seals in the egg yolk so that it things are baking, the pots and pans get washed by hand if needed and or put into the dishwasher. So that's what I'm doing now while my nests bake. Now you can take them out when they're a light yellow like this, but I like mine to be more golden. That was seven minutes at 400 degrees. So I'm going to put it in for just a couple more minutes. Did you know that you can store baking grease in your fridge and cook with it? So we do that in our household. That way if we're not in the mood to make bacon but we want fried eggs, we can fry our eggs in the bacon. It's also great for sauteing spinach and onions in. So I have a jar that I collect bacon grease in that stays in the fridge. If you're going to do that method, bring the jar out a few minutes before you start baking so that when you pour the hot grease into the glass, the glass is not cold from the fridge, which can cause it to break. So, two minutes, come by. They're all golden all the way throughout. Ooh, tree is hot. What I like to do is actually open up the nest and see the yolk in there and then dump it over and let the yolk spill out. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. Create yourself a beautiful day and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.